and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. Uh, this one's a little more of a retrospective. We've been getting some comments on uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation. We did a VHS Tales on it a while ago. Told our story watching it the first time. You know, we had high expectations for it because it was the first one to come out in ages, the first one we were able to see and we thought it was horrible yeah. and such a letdown. We really haven't seen it since. No, because it just made that much of an impression. Yeah, <laughs> and people have said, no, give it another chance. We'll try it again. And so last night we got together with our good buddy Carl Woods <laughs> and we watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation again. And here is our thoughts on it after revisiting it after, what, 20 years? Yeah. So, what do we think of it the second time around? I can sum it all up for myself in one gesture. <laughs> <laughs> what a complete piece of shit <laughs> yes. this movie is. Fucking piece of shit. The acting, even on Renee Zellweger's end, mm -hmm. and she is an uh, award-winning actress, is fucking abysmal. If you're gonna kill me, then do it. I'm not gonna put up with any more of your crap. All of them. Please, mister, you're scaring me. Just tell me what I can do. The dialogue is so poor. Like, who wrote this, a fucking six-year-old? Look, guys need sex, okay? It's matter if you get all worked up and then not get it. You can get prostate cancer. So bad. Way too much crap going on. Dude, yeah, they try to put all these little subplots in and stuff. Aren't you forgetting that you're married to my mother? You shut your damn mouth. Yeah, it does, just doesn't seem to work. <laughs> like nothing works with itself. At the beginning, the, the couple get in a big fucking fight because she sees her boyfriend making out with some other girl. Yeah. And they drive off and they're having their conversation in the car about the relationship or whatever and it's very bad. Barry, I saw you. You were kissing her. Once. I kissed her once. What's wrong with that? And they get in a car accident. Fuck! And they just take off. They fucking <laughs> flee the scene of this car accident and somehow they're in the woods. Yeah. Why did they drive to the woods? Why are they in the woods? Because there's no reason for it at all. <laughs> yeah. And then like with Matthew McConaughey's character, like <laughs> with his with his stupid robot leg. <laughs> Why does he have a robot leg? <laughs> well, that's another thing, like, the sound effects... ...just spoiled a lot of it, too, right? It just made it into a joke. Fuck! Fuck! And, like, here he's chasing those kids down the dirt road and yeah. stuff like that, and then he picks one of them up, Renee Zellweger, yeah. and she sees, like, the dead bodies in the back, and just... It's not that big of a deal, really. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, you'd be freaking out. Yeah. You'd want to get the hell out of there. And when the one kid gets into the house after being chased by Leatherface and stuff, and then he just decides to take a leak in that toilet. Yeah, and he's like... all, like, calm and everything, and he's, like, talking. <laughs> There's some crazy guy outside with a shotgun. Well, wouldn't you be scared shitless and be too busy trying to get out? Locked him out, though. You should have seen me. Not one facet of realism <laughs> yeah. to any of that. She she's goes to the drive-thru with Renee Zellweger in the back in the trunk. She's banging away. She opens up the trunk and is like, Would you stop kicking my trunk? Please poke a hole in the bag for me so I can breathe. <laughs> okay. And it's like, what the fuck was that? I know, it's just stupid. And she's all polite, <laughs> like, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you be like, she opens the trunk and be like, hey! Fucking Try and out, get man. out! <laughs> like, fuck! Fuck! That stupid kind of like make out scene. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> like wrecking everything, <laughs> making out, like. Start oh, making man. out, like wrecking the whole fucking like kitchen and. <laughs> <laughs> Slamming into the fridge yeah. and everything. <laughs> you can see Matthew McConaughey was just like. Whatever. Yeah, let's yeah, just exactly. let's just be as crazy as we can be here. Yeah. <laughs> when he jumps off that roof, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> back of the head truck, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom. But uh, one thing we did want to talk about: the portrayal of Leatherface is actually pretty good. Yeah, pretty scary. Yeah. Like he like uh, 
Oh, the, the masks and all that, and he's wearing like that kind of half bodysuit yeah. thing? That's a first? It looks creepy. And what's with the fucking guy with the Egyptian carvings and those piercings and everything? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That Robert Blake type Ooh, with the guy. fucking really bad wig or whatever he was wearing. You see that super defined line? Yeah, it's all glued on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's all licking Renee Zellweger and then later He's all on, putting that chest stuff yeah. up to her and everything. Like, and then later on, he picks her up in the limo and he's like, I'll just take you to the nearest hospital, whatever, forget about it. Like, what the fuck is that? Fuck! <laughs> but watching it a second time, I did find it more entertaining because I knew it was bad already mm -hmm. and I was kind of looking for things to find good. Right. I think watching it with you guys was fun because we could laugh at it together. So I think it is an entertaining movie in that respect where you can yeah. watch it and laugh at it because it's so bad. So now it's not so cringy Don't hit me. as it is laughable. <laughs> Exactly, you know? yeah. And it's it's like a fun party movie that yeah. you can have on in the background. There you go, guys. We gave Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4, The Next Generation, uh, a second viewing. And it's still a piece of shit. Piece of shit! But at least now, it's a laughable, a little bit more enjoyable mm -hmm. piece of shit. <laughs> exactly. Uh, to quote The Simpsons, they tried and they failed miserably. The lesson is... Never try. Keep drinking.